Alright, back with another lightsaber video. I know it's been a while, but I ordered this off of Amazon. It's actually a Disney Parks exclusive. This is the, the uh, actually the latest one that just came out. The Reforged Skywalker Legacy Lightsaber Hilt. So it's a Disney theme park merchandise. It says right here, Galaxies from Galaxy's Edge. Star Wars. So, let's get it unboxed. I did find it on Amazon. Uh, 200, 230 bucks, I think, something like that. So, yeah. Pretty sweet. Let's get this, uh, as you can see, it's still sealed up. They'd run for a hundred and something down at the park, but I live in Delaware and Florida and California are the parks and plane fare and tickets, I mean, you're going to pay well over that just to get one of these in person. So I think 230 bucks is a fair price for what I paid for this. So let's get this tape off. Seal has been broken. All right, on the box it says Reforged Skywalker Legacy Light the, excuse me, Legacy Lightsaber Hilt. And it says that you need three double A's. Oh, it says that they're included. That's cool. That's cool. Battery replacement, twist off bottom to access battery compartment. Exhausted batteries are removed. New batteries are to be inserted with the correct polarity. Replace the battery door. Just like Black series, I'm sure. So, let's oh, I'm going down here a little bit. Right, I've also got a blade, so I'm going to put that in as well. It should open right up. It's actually the wrong way. This way. This way. Just like that. The, uh, the black series this is a thin hilt this is not thick at all wow I really like wow this is really cool I'm digging this now to turn it on I'm not sure I'm guessing this this right here I don't know I have to look at the directions. I mean, it has a blade plug in here. I've got a blade plug. I'll have to insert a uh, a blade and insert a blade and. This was worth the money so far. Alright, so the hilt itself. Uh, oh, let's see. We've got a uh, belt clip that's integrated into the handle here. You got an integrated belt clip. Interesting. Not sure how I feel about that, but. Um, Nice rubber grips. It's not real thick. 
I'll have to compare it to, uh, uh, definitely have to do a comparison video to the Black Series. I've got the Luke and the Ray. I'll have to compare it to those. Yeah. All right. Let's get a close up on the that button there. That's pretty nice looking. Stickers are definitely gonna be coming off. But there's not, not as many stickers on this as there are on a black series. Now you do have this thing at the bottom, just like a black series, you've got this printing on the bottom. It says Made in China and then Disney and Lucasfilm. Here, the pommel here. I like the feel of this leather. It's not leather, but it's faux leather. On off switch, it says right there, that's the on off. So that sticker's coming off, but this must be the on off switch. Um, doesn't really, oh, okay, it does move. All right, yep, yeah. that's cool. I'm not sure how I like how that looks, but it is what it is. All right, let's get a blade in this thing. Let's get a blade in here. All right, before I actually put the blade in, I did switch out the batteries. These are just El Cheapo, so they'll be fine for something else, but I switched these out. Just some rail backs I had on hand. So. These are pretty light though, but the ray of X weren't, aren't much heavier, but these did test a little bit better. I'm sure these would be fine, but I'm going to put some fresh batteries in it. And basically this just, there's a little, I don't know if you can see it, it's not a bright yellow arrow like the Black Series one, so just trust me, there's an arrow in there. You just have to line this notch up. That notch right there with this arrow here. Just line it up. Once you line it up, it'll fall down in. And just screw your pommel back down in here. This is a little finicky, actually. Kind of like the Black Series pommels better. This is a little. Kind of what you want to do is push this down, push the speaker down, and then kind of screw this in, like so. Get it started. Because the uh, there's a spring in there, and that spring is kind of messing with how this thing seats. So once you get and then, yeah, okay, well, I don't know. I still feel like that's not, could be tighter maybe, but I don't know. Anyway, let's get a blade in. All right, so I got the blade on it. It's a 36 inch blade. Pretty long. Here it is next to the Kylo Ren. Black Series. It's Kylo Ren Black Series. I did finally get that one. I didn't do a video on it, but I did finally get it. Had to complete the collection, even though it's not my favorite. It's kind of growing on me. So, so let's fire it up.
Sounds pretty good. Not bad. Power it off. Power it off. Power it off. Now you can see some of the dead spots in the LEDs. So these. I don't know if these uh, strips in here are as good as the Black Series strips. I'm going to have to do a comparison. I want to say no, but I won't. I'm not sure until I do a direct comparison between the two. Let me fire up Kyler real quick. Saber more than this. I like the look of the hilt more than the Black Series, but I think I like the Black Series blade better. But it's cool that this is removable, so I'm fine with it. Doesn't really translate on the camera, but I mean, it kind of does actually. You kind of can see the. I don't get too close and overexpose it, but anyway. Let's do a comparison. Fire up Kylo. Kylo. Oh, Skywalker Legacy lightsaber. I do like the blue. I like the color on the LEDs. It's nice and bright. It's a nice flash on flash. It's kind of slow, but it's there. It's like an orange, I think. I don't know, it's hard to it's hard to tell. Power this down. Orange is yellow, it flashes so fast, it's hard to tell what the color is, but... Alright, let's get these lights off. Feels good in the hand. And I hit the ceiling. <laughs> I knew I would. Alright, let's get these lights off. I like the way it feels. Oh, it looks good in the dark.
to collect. I'm not a dueler, so. Not that these are dual worthy. There's, these are still collectibles. Collectible display savers, really, not really. Light dueling only with these, but. The blade's growing on me. I like the flash high class, it's kind of slow. But... I don't know, there's kind of a delay here with this when you swing it too. The swing, the sound of the swing. I don't know. Anyway, let's fire up Kylo. Get a look of the blue and the red together because who doesn't think that looks really cool? Now in the instructions, let's power this down. In the instructions it tells you to install this blade to insert the blade and then turn clockwise. However, it's not the case with this blade. This blade I turn clockwise, that actually removes the blade. Now if I push down you'll hear an activation sound. And then you turn problems now. There we go. There we go. So that was turning counterclockwise to put the blade in. Now you turn it clockwise to remove the blade out of this one. Why? Keys in one way. You have a, a large tab and a small tab, and you just line them up. And it goes in one way. You hear the activation. Yep. And it powers up. Nice looking saber. It's got some weight to it too, which I kind of like. So, activation box. I like it. I 
not really seeing any defects. Um, I think this is, I'm not sure. I want to say this is metal on here. I want to say this is metal. I really do. It feels. I'm pretty sure this is metal. It's plastic on the Black Series. But this feels. It feels metal. So I take this screwdriver and I just. You know, if you tap plastic, plastic. It feels, feels metal. I'm pretty sure this is, pretty sure this is metal. Pretty sure this emitter is metal. Now this here feels, this feels plastic. This part right here, um, this right here is plastic. This right here feels met like it's metal. Same thing here. This is metal. All this is all this is metal. The activation box is I'm pretty sure that's plastic. That's okay. I've actually got some some hex screws right there. Looks like you can possibly take this apart. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. And actually, same thing. These are not rivets. These are actually these are actual hex screws. I'm guessing you could change out the grips if you needed to. I don't know. Very interesting. But overall, I'm very, very happy with this. Got a standard screw head there. That's not on the Black Series, I don't think. Why not do a comparison between the two of these? Between the two of them. This is metal, of course. Not a lot of plastic on here at all, really. Everything's metal, except for this, which is just a synthetic leather it's not even it's not real leather of course but rubber grips these uh buttons jewels are plastic uh -huh. this of course is plastic in here and these little greeblies are plastic or metal but inside is plastic but this is a nice looking saber. I like it. I like it. All right. If you enjoy watching this video, like button and please subscribe.